We're here with Tim. I'm Jason. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. Thanks for thanks for having me out here. And tell us a little bit about your experience with Pettit. Were you a washer before that, or tell us a little bit about yourself and your history here? Well, I've been here 11 years now, okay. and I had Raco in uh, system in, and, and Don came and seen me one day and was pointing out all the good things about the Pettit system and. Everything sounded good, and uh, I'm very glad I went with it because one thing about it, you work right off your phone, and you can fix just about anything. All right. Very intuitive to work on, huh? Oh, yes. Fantastic. Now, your numbers, when you, after you put the pet it in, did you raise your price or anything? Oh, yes, yes. All right. Yes, yeah, raise the price, and all the washes have increased. Okay. How much have the washes increased about? Oh, quite a bit. I'd say maybe 300 percent. Okay. What I have to do with Ryko. That's what the uh, that's what the installer was saying. You're saying some numbers beforehand and now, so you're you're cranking them out of here now. Yep. And so about 300 percent increase in washes, but also a couple dollar average increase, right? Right. All right. That's that's what we want to hear, and that's exactly what we want. So, um, and are you are running monthlies here? Yes, we are. How's your experience been with that? It's been pretty good. It's, okay. You know, in the beginning, had a few, you know, just get used to doing it. You know, uh -huh. and people, customers were having little issues, but now it's fine. They know they can call me if they have any issues, and they really appreciate how fast I respond and take care of anything that's going on. Great. And what kind of? You're doing four passes on everything right now. Yes. Okay. So you're good, better, best. It's all just about how long does it take to wash a car? Not including dryers. Two and a half minutes. Yeah, that, that's about that's the way it should be. Um, we were at the the previous person that uh, Don installed, and they're running about the same. And we keep trying to beat the dead horse for a reason because there's a lot of people are still doing multiple passes, multiple high pressure passes. How many high pressure passes do you have? High pressure. Yeah. One. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so you're just doing your chemical, let it dwell, hitting it with high pressure, and it's spot free and out the door. Correct. All right, that's what we want to hear. And your, and your specific setup here, you're just using an alkaline for either one or two passes of alkaline only, right? Yes. Okay, gotcha. All right. How's your experience been with your installer? Excellent. All right. Yep. He's always, he's just always been there for you. Okay. Time you call him. Yep. And any other input about the company or anything like that? But it, well, it, the text. I mean, as far as if you have a problem, you call them. They call you back and pretty much they can work you through anything. Okay. And what kind of, what was your decision making like? Um, because Pettit is more expensive. Like how did you reconcile that? What kind of research did you do? Was there a lot of fear there where you're not sure? Or? No. Okay. Nope. Don, Don was a good salesman and, and, and put everything in perspective and everything he said was true. I and, mean. And you're washing 300% more cars, so. Yes. <laughs> like I said, I'm very happy with it. So, what of your customers, how they responded since you changed equipment? They love it. Yep. Was there a, like a learning curve? How long did your old washes take? They probably took closer to a good five minutes. Okay. All right. So, it wasn't too much of a jump from five to two and a half. Well, you're probably washing about half the time. Yeah. I'm just thinking some of the other ones are at like seven, nine minutes, that kind of thing. But you were already washing faster than most of the people then. Yeah, it was at least five, five or yeah, five or six minutes on a wash. Okay. Did you have trouble adjusting to taking it down to two and a half minutes, or you were okay with that? No, well, I was okay. That's the more fantastic. you, more you can wash, the faster you get them through. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's rare. A, a lot yeah. of people still have. I haven't had a chance to look at your menu yet. Um, so you have a pretty simple menu. Is that how you keep your menu? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. There's three washes. Yeah. Just three washes. Okay. Because some people, we talk about the speed. When they put 14 different things on each wash, then people do expect to be in there, you know, a long True, time. True, but you try to explain to them why, how it's done, you know, uh -huh. where, you know, when, when it's rinsing, it's actually putting the wax on at the same time. Yeah. You know, and that's where you got to try to, you know, they like, they'll think, it's, like you said, they should be in there a lot longer, mm -hmm. but actually, they're not. Yeah. yeah. Well, obviously, if people, 
weren't satisfied, they wouldn't be coming back. Your numbers wouldn't be what, they're, what they are. That's true. And if anybody's dissatisfied, I, I, I never argue with anybody about anything, you know, because something can always happen and I take care of it. And they always say, you know what? We really appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a wise owner. Any other washes in your future there? We never know. <laughs> do, do, do it like the wash business? Oh, yes. Yes. And any experience with uh, maintenance or repair, that kind of stuff? No, it's it's been working really good, and like I said, if I have any issues, Don comes out and yep. takes care of it right away, but we've had very few. Okay. All right. Which is good. Is there any competition kind of close to you? or There's a lot of competition. So, okay. Yeah. Do you have both tunnels and in-bays around here? Uh, yes. Okay. Do we know how close they are? Well, we got down the road a mile down. down, there's an in-bay down the road a mile. Okay. And then tunnels are all over the place. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Very similar to Ohio. Yeah. Uh, Detroit and Ohio, I mean, when it comes to there's a lot of wash equipment companies, there's a lot of washes everywhere. In Northeast Ohio and this part of Michigan, I mean, it's just wash. They're probably the two hubs in the country, I would think. Yeah. Um, there's just a lot of washes going on out here. So, a lot yeah. Of What's that? A lot of manufacturers. A lot of manufacturers, a lot of washes, and, and your volumes are just pretty insane from what you're telling us. And, uh, and the numbers we're seeing. That's great. Well, any other comments or anything? Or? Uh, nope. I'm just very glad I made the switch and did what I did and able to offer the membership and, you know, going to keep plugging away at, you know, adding stuff. And so. Yeah, so that's, that's curious. You did add memberships and went up. You went up enough in price, so even though you added memberships, increased the volume 300%, you still gained a $2 average, which is, I mean, you can't ask for anything more than that. Were you worried about the memberships keeping your average too low or? No, I was hoping it was gonna, you know, bring it up and it did, okay. you know. Okay. Yeah. Do you have, still have some of those $5 washes out in this area at all? Or are those pretty much done with? Well, I think they're gonna be done pretty soon. There's, cause there's a new wash opening up up the street. Okay. And there is a $3 one, but I don't think, you know, I think that one will be gone. Gotcha. So even the, even here in Detroit, the, the membership seemed to trump three and $5 washes. Yes. Because I, I was talking to Don earlier, and you, you were, Don, you were saying that, that there's still a few three and five dollar washes, and they're just dead. So right down the road there's one. Yep. It's, it's, About a mile and a half down. It's yeah. a, dry hole. a mile and a half down, three five dollar wash, and, and you're killing it in volume, and they're not doing anything. Yeah. Yeah. Memberships are where they go. There's so so many reasons for memberships. Now, how did you see? Most people have trouble. You're a little bit of an outlier here. Most people have trouble adjusting to memberships. You just seemed like it made sense to you then? Well, yes. I mean, because that's what people are looking for. Yeah. You know. Gotcha. I mean, you still got your people that come in and just, they don't want a membership. They're just going to pay for the wash. You know? mm -hmm. I'm going to try to educate them a little bit more that the membership is the way to go. Because even if you have the membership and you wash once a week, you already save money. Yes, exactly. And do you limit it to so many times a month here? It's limited 15. You're doing 15? Okay, that's what a lot of in-bays I'm hearing are doing. That's good. The memberships, I, I, it's all psychological. If you just get the wash busy, even if they come in and pay full price, it's just everything's busier and it keeps busy. It just works really well. Activity breeds activity. Yep, activity breeds activity, absolutely. Yeah, okay, so we jumped off. Gonna be a different mic here. Um, you were explaining your chemical usage, your water usage, electrical usage, per car, how's that going? Well, the water has gone way down. Okay. It uses less water and it's faster. Yeah, so you use much less water, yes. you were saying. What about the chemical usage? About the same, a little more, a little lower? I would say, I'd say about, you know, well, probably a little bit more because I'm washing more cars. Yes. yes. Okay, so monthly using more, yes. but about per car, what do you think it is? It's, uh, it's probably less because it's okay. really being controlled more. Okay. Got it. So the other system wasn't super efficient. Didn't have no. a lot of confidence. It was no. accurate. Not at all. <laughs> okay, so definitely less water, possibly less chemical, and less electricity for sure. I I'm sure, even with the two pumps. So uh, yeah, I'm glad. Thanks for bringing that up. I totally forgot to ask about water usage. So.